Hey everyone, my name is Katie. I'm one of the women's ministry leaders here at Cross Creek Church. Psalm 91 is one of my favorite psalms. The whole psalm brings me peace and comfort no matter the circumstances around me. It does not promise me a life without trial and tribulation, but it does reassure me that I'm protected by the Almighty God when I face them. We all will have obstacles in life. If we run from these difficulties, we're denying God an opportunity to work in and through us. We can ask God to remove the obstacles, but oftentimes he doesn't, and that's in order to grow and to strengthen us. While it's the hardest option, it's likely the best. We should be asking God to turn our fear into faith and to trust that God will protect us no matter what comes our way. My favorite verse in this psalm is verse 14. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he knows my name. The word for knows in this verse indicates an intimate knowing. God wants us to seek him and to know him intimately, just as intimately as he knows us. Because we are seeking him daily in prayer, we will get to know him intimately over the rest of these 21 days. My hope is that this turns into a new or renewed rhythm for you that extends well beyond 21 days. Today, I'm going to close by speaking this psalm as a prayer over all of us, over whatever battle you're facing or whatever battle's on the horizon, whatever is overtaking your thoughts that is not the truth. Maybe you're battling an addiction. Maybe your marriage is on the rocks. Maybe you have given up trying to find that special someone. Maybe you're anxious about an upcoming meeting or event, or you're worried about the health of a loved one. Maybe you're fighting an illness yourself. Whatever it is that is exhausting you, overwhelming you, and depleting you from everything, take the time to lay it down at Jesus' feet. As I declare this psalm over us, release it all. Close your eyes, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, and focus only on the words being spoken because they are God's words of truth for you. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he knows my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen.